Welcome to easy3dbooth.com. Coming to you live here with a new update. Basically, um, I've had these um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven batteries now running these four LEDs for over a month. That's an entire month. Basically, um, as you can see, it still basically powers it, no problem at all. Um, I'll go ahead and click, correct the polarity on here really quick. And as you can see, it powers up these uh, four LEDs, no problem at all. But um, that's no longer the point. Even though it's been running this for a month, the voltage on these batteries has not dropped at all. So what I've been doing is I've um, been able to charge these capacitors up very easily. Um, I've been working with a couple capacitors. The best one seems to be this capacitor right here. And uh, when I connect these up, it takes me about 30 seconds to charge a capacitor. So um, after about 30 seconds, this capacitor will be fully charged. Now uh, this is a um, 6.3 volt capacitor, and um, this one's a uh, 10 volt capacitor. Um, the capacitor puts out more amperage, so I'm able to increase the amount of uh, amperage. For example, if I want to work with heavier loads, I can use the capacitors to uh, help help me with that. But um, let's go and take the capacitor off right now. I mean the uh, lead of the capacitor. And I have an LED right here, and it should light it right up. So you guys can see it. And of course, it's a quick discharge, you know, it's the way the capacitors work. But um, the amazing thing about this is that it charges the capacitor up super quick. Um, it only takes a few, about 30 seconds. And then it charges up the capacitor really quickly. And it gives me enough of a working voltage, uh, enough of a working load to go with. And um, right now, this series here is putting out 8 volts. So, let's go ahead and discharge her again really quick. So you guys can see that. So, it charges up really, really quickly. And let's go ahead and do a voltage reading on the batteries. So you got everything on the 20 volt scale. Okay. And we'll go ahead and uh, take a reading. Right now she's at uh, zero. So let's connect up the leads, see what we get. Right now I'm at a comfortable 8.22 volts. And um, that's been running basically for a whole month. I added two new cells about a week ago, and it still uh, increased the uh, voltage a little bit more. But uh, I let it rest for 24 hours, actually about 12 hours. I, I disconnected the LEDs. And after about 12 hours, it seemed to recharge it up again um, a little bit more. It still continuously runs the LEDs nonstop, but it gave it a little bit more of a charge when I rested. So um, basically what I've been doing is I've um, been using this motor right here this little engine, electric engine, and what I've done is I've um, been hooking it up to this little battery right here. This is a 6 volt uh, DC battery, and I've been running the motor down until it dies out. And what I've been doing with my um, series here is I've been connecting um, these guys up here to the battery like this, and I found that it makes an excellent trickle charge for the uh, lead volt batteries. And the good thing about a trickle charge is you can just leave it on here and the, the battery will never get overheated or overcharged. As long as the voltage on here and the amperage is low enough, you can trickle charge this for a long time. And so far I've been having pretty good luck at trickle charging the um, lead acid battery right here. And um, I discharged the battery this morning. It was at about 3 volts. I used a little motor here to discharge the, um, discharge the battery. And it was at 3.27 volts. And I trickle charge it for about uh, 20 minutes. And let's check the voltage now. After about 20 minutes of trickle charging with a zero point energy battery, 4 volts. So, in about 20 minutes of trickle charging this 6 volt lead acid battery, I added a volt. So, um, and then I'll discharge it again later on and test out, you know, using the motor to discharge it and continue the cycle. So, that means. Um, it was looking pretty good here that we can be able to get a um, trickle charge, uh, trickle charge, um, you know, unit here right here, which is pretty good. It's good if you don't want to use solar power if you're out in a remote area where there's no solar energy and you basically want to use something to trickle charge. 
Anyway, once again, this is just a simple um, seven of these zero point NRE batteries. Um, they're all wired in series. And I still haven't got my silver uh, plate of wire to make some more, but they should be in here by next week. And that's all it is, it's free energy. It's just giving me energy from the quantum vacuum. And I'm able to charge up and uh, work with these loads really easily. And I'm having a great fun doing it because it's costing me no electricity. No electricity bill, but it's free energy from the quantum vacuum. As you can see, it lights up the LED there, no problem at all. So, um, just an update right here on the research. Um, wish you all continued luck in your research. And once again, you can see the instructions on how to build these devices yourself on um, easy3dbiz.com. I have all the instructions on there, all the information. I've done thesis papers. Um, I've worked with that, basically showing how it all works. I'm also going to start working with larger capacitors. Now, this one's 450 volts. Uh, 450 volts DC, and um, I also have the 10 volt capacitor right here. I'm hopefully um, looking forward to working with that. And then I'm putting some capacitors in series right here to see how we can uh, get some really serious amperage and some very serious wattage. So thank you for watching, and good luck in your research.